50 years ago, the architects and engineers only have pencil and paper. Then, starting around the middle 1970s, computer-aided design systems, or CAD, began to provide more capabilities. The cost-benefit for companies to switch to CAD became apparent. It transforms the labor-intensive drafting to an efficient electronic documentation. But now the limitations of CAD have emerged, especially when it is used in a complex project. CAD can be used to produce two-dimensional or three-dimensional models of parts, materials, or buildings using lines, arcs, circles. The lines, arcs, or circles in CAD are independent of one another. Notations are mainly used to enrich the design context with very limited information. We are now embracing BIM. Building Information Modeling, or BIM, is an intelligent, model-based process for planning, designing, building, and managing buildings and infrastructures. A BIM model is a full virtual or digital prototype of a building. It serves like a database to managing all the project information. It can provide great clarity for the communications among all stakeholders across the project lifecycle. A building model is a digital representation of a building, its function, design, construction, and later its operation. A building model replaces building joints. Unlike computerized joints, building models can be processed by computer software. Building information modeling, or BIM, is the process of creating a building model. The term also describes the software and the technologies for compiling and processing building models. BIM creates more than just digital 2D or 3D models. BIM models use objects that have parametric geometry, have a numerical properties and relationships. A BIM model is usually created following certain types of object-oriented computer data schema, for example, the industry foundation classes or IFC. IFC has been registered as an official international standard. It describes building and construction industry data. IFC is developed by Building Smart and aims at facilitating the data interoperability in the architecture, engineering, and the construction industry. It is a platform neutral, open file format specification that is not controlled by a single vendor or group of software vendors. Several countries have made the use of IFC format compulsory for publicly aided building projects. In IFC, a point is defined using coordinates in 2D or 3D space. The eight vertices in this figure are modeled using the value of x, y, z coordinates. The BIM data schema also defines how to model different types of services using different parameters. For example, a rectangle can be defined by the length and the width and the coordinates of its center. A circle can be defined by its radius and the coordinates of its center. A trapezium can be defined by other parameters shown below. In addition to the point and the service, 3D solids can also be represented parametrically in a beam model. For example, a block can be defined by its length, width, height, and the coordinates of a corner. A rectangular pyramid can be modeled by its length, width, and the height of the apex. A circular cone can be modeled by its radius, 
the coordinate of the center and the height of the apex, etc., etc. There are a few different shape representations in the beam data schema. An object can be modeled using different shape representations, such as a swept solid and a boundary representation. For example, a longitudinal object can be modeled by its cross section, for example, in this case, a rectangle, and its extruded direction and the length. In the same time, this object can also be represented by boundary representation. For example, the solid consists of six faces, each of which consists of four vertices. Apart from the geometry, the 3D objects can also be associated with attributes and properties. The wall object can be broken down into the key products that make up its structure. For example, render, external brake leaf, cavity insulation, internal block leaf, and the plasterboard dry lining. The thickness of these parts are defined. This allows the creation of automatic schedules and the quantity takeoff. For example, within a click of a button, the number of bricks or the sheets of plasterboard within the building can be calculated. In addition to the key materials such as bricks, blocks, and insulation, other properties such as the types of wall ties, cavity trays, whip holes can also be associated to this wall. In addition to the physical objects such as beams, walls, columns, virtual objects can also be defined in a beam model such as axes, project site, building stories, zones, etc. etc. These virtual objects can also have properties. For example, the project site has properties of the location and the boundary. A building story's properties include elevation, height, gross height, etc. etc. BIM also defines various kinds of relationships. The relationships between physical objects, for example, a roof is the aggregation of the roof elements, such as roof slabs, rafters, purlins, etc. The relationships between virtual objects, for example, a story is part of a building. The relationships between a physical object and a virtual object, for example, a door belongs to a room. Some other types, such as reference, assignment, connectivity, can represent more complex relationships. In this example, the spatial structure is the hierarchical tree of spatial elements ultimately assigned to the project. This project site has a building. This building has three stories. And this curtain wall is primarily contained within the ground floor. And additionally, it is referenced within the first floor and the second floor. BIM defines the model geometry, object properties, and relationships. What makes BIM really advanced than CAD is what we can do with all that information in the model. At any point of the life cycle of a project, if information is there and accurate, a BIM model enables automation in the corresponding applications and reduces time-consuming errors and rework. But of course, the benefits gained from BIM corresponds to the quality and the depth of the data in the BIM model. In the conceptual design phase, if the weather information is incorporated in the BIM model, if objects properties such as heat transfer coefficient and the thermal resistance are defined, 
the BIM model can be used for automated energy analysis. In the detailed design phase, if the object's physical properties, such as Young's modulus and shear modulus, are defined, the BIM model may be used for automated structure analysis. The value of BIM is becoming clearer to the industry. It facilitates the facility and asset management. As a result, there is an increasing demand for BIM models of existing buildings. Compilation of an Aziz BIM model requires collecting 3D spatial data, which can be done by laser scanning and or photogrammetry. Terrestrial laser scanning, or TLS, is an automated measurement technology. Starting from the viewpoint of the laser scanner, angles and distances are measured with a laser beam in all surrounding spatial directions. In this way, an object becomes discretized in its geometric form through a great number of measuring points, usually called point cloud data. The scanner provides a detailed one-to-one -one copy of the object's service, for example a building, within a few minutes. Photogrammetry is best defined as a reversal of the photographic process that captures the 3D world in two dimensions by taking thousands of regimented overlapping photos. These photos can be then converted to 3D point cloud data using tailored algorithms. The point cloud data created by laser scanning and a photogrammetry is a set of data points in a three-dimensional coordinate system. Depends on the data collection equipment, other information such as RGB colors, point intensity, normal directions may also be embedded in the data. Point cloud data can be directly rendered and inspected, but they are usually not usable in most 3D applications. It needs to be converted to a 3D solid model. Here is a traditional workflow of creating a 3D model using the point cloud data. First, we rotate and translate the point cloud data to a plan view to be able to see the edges of the building. Then, we create the facade by tracing the points on the edge. Once we get the walls, we can add openings, windows, and other horizontal objects in a similar manner. However, this manual process is time-consuming and costly. A beam model is not only a combination of 3D objects. Once we get the geometry, we also need to define the types of the object, the material, and here as a window, the fenestration options, glazing, hinge options, and of course, which room does it belong to. Information needs to be supplemented to the BIM model according to specific needs. A semantically rich as is BIM model can greatly facilitate the facility management process. The user can visualize the 3D objects and retrieve related information through any screen at any time, even for on-site inspection. In the bridge inspection process, most of the bridge service defects are visible to human eyes, but it is hard for bridge inspectors to quantify the defects, especially when the bridge components are inaccessible. Remote sensing technologies such as laser scanning and photogrammetry have the potential for providing high-density, full-field surface imaging. Hence, they can be used to measure the cracks, generate volumetric 
quantification of concrete spooling, corrosion, or steel erosion. By recording the surface topology of the object, the laser scanner can detect different damages on the bridge structure and differentiate damage types according to the surface flatness and smoothness. For example, identifying the position of the defects based on the distance from the point cloud to the reference plane. To sum up, BIM is a process for creating parametric and semantically rich building models. IFC or industry foundation classes are data schema that specifies how computers represent a BIM model. An IFC file stores a BIM model that can be exchanged. Terrestrial laser scanning, or TLS, and photogrammetry are state-of-the-art contactless survey technologies for rapid collection of accurate spatial data. The spatial data, in the form of millions of 3D points or point cloud, needs to be converted to 3D geometries and beam models before they can be used in asset management systems. The structure defects need to be detected in the spatial data and incorporated in the system as the result of inspection. Now we should have a common understanding of the related technologies and how they may be used for asset inspection and management.